Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Semantics. Today we have really interesting, I would say like quick and relaxing question, x to the power x equal to 10 and we need to find, we need to find our x. If you have your own answer, your own solution, you can easily write your solution down into the comment section and we will check your answers here in just few minutes, so it will be, it will be really interesting for us. So x to the power x equal to 10. First of all, let's apply nature log on both sides, let's see what will happen. So we're gonna apply nature log on the, on the left side. We have right here nature log of x to the power x equal to nature log of, of 10. Okay, we apply nature log on both sides. But if you know the really important property, this property looks like that. We have nature log a of power of b right here. This b will come down right here. So this is the main log property which helps us a lot. So right now we can easily uh, this x right right here. So this x will come down right here. As a result, we have x times nature log x equal to nature log of nature log of 10. So this is our first step. We just apply nature log on both sides. Right now we need to know, we need to remember about really interesting function. I think a lot of students know this function because I have a lot of videos about this function. This function looks like that. This function looks like that. When we have expression like a times e to the power a, when we have expression uh, which have the structure like that, when we apply uh, lambda w function of this expression, as a result we have our a. So I want to show you a great example. For example, imagine we have uh, like a nine times a e to the power to the power nine. When we have the, something like that, when we have the same expression right here and the power of e, when we have a and a right here. So when we apply lambda w function from this expression, as a result, we have only a. In our case, a equal to a equal to nine. Okay. So we hope you understand this step. Just once, one more, one more thing. For example, imagine we have we have like twenty times e to the power 20. When we apply lambda w function, as a result, we have only, only 20. Okay, so I hope you understand this information about lambda w function. Right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. We don't have e, we don't have absolutely the same expression right here and right here, we don't have e, so this is really a bad thing for us, but with this one really interesting moment, this x we can write as e to the power nature log x, okay? This x can be written as e to the power nature log x really great so this is equal to not equal to we still have nature log x okay nature log x equal to nature log of of 10 so let's split this part right here so we hope you understand it instead of this x i wrote this e to the power nature log x but let's write the thing right here so x equal to e to the power nature log x this is the main log property because we have nature log of e right here base of e and this e we can easily cancel so this is a great expression for us right now let's change position right here let's write nature log x at first position and this expression on the second position as a result what do we have right here we have nature log x times e to the power nature log x equal to nature log 10 and right now let's look closely what do we have on the left side as i told before we need to have e we have e yeah really great right now we can easily see the same expression we can easily see this nature log x which calls, for example, let's call it as a. And we have absolutely the same expression right here. So this is the same nature log x. So we have a. And if you look closely, we have expression looks like a times e to the power a, which is a really great expression for applying for applying Lambert W function. So let's apply Lambert W function on the left side. Let's do this thing right now. So Lambert W function of nature log x times e to the power nature log x really great and don't forget about the right side because we need to apply lambda w function on the right side so lambda w function of nature log nature log 10 and right now really interesting moment maybe the the greatest moment right here because on the left side we will have only our a a in our case equal to nature log x okay so on the on the left side we have nature log x and on the right side we have lambda w function of this nature log 10 lambda w function of nature log nature log 10. Really great. Uh, but we need to find our x. We don't need this nature log x. We need to find our x. And right now, once more, really interesting, uh, really interesting trick, because we're going to apply base of e on both sides, which helps us a lot. Take a look closely. What do we have right here? We have base of e of this power nature log x. And we do the same thing with the right side. Base of e with this lambda w function of nature log 10. It changed nothing because we apply it on both sides. But right now, e to the power nature log x Okay, and let's look right here. e to the power nature log x, this is the same as x. So we can easily cancel this e, this nature log. As a result, we have only our x on the on the left side, which is equal to e to the power, this one, lambda w function of nature log 
nature log 10. And a lot of students confused about this final answer because they think that we need to simplify this right side. We have e, lambda w function, nature log, we can simplify it, but don't be scared about this right side because if you look closely, nature log 10, this is a constant, okay? We don't know this is as a table case in terms of table case, but this is a constant, okay? If we're talking about lambda w function of a constant, this is also a constant and um, don't be scared about this, you don't know this value because this is this value um, we can find in internet libraries don't be scared about it this is also a constant e is our all known constant so when we raise e to this constant we have as a result we have constant so this is a lot of work to uh, to math library yeah this is not your your work to find this exactly value but if you're interested in approximately value i find it for you so x approximately equal to 2.5006 this is our approximately answer and you can easily check it so if you're talking about about the proof if you want to check it if you don't trust me you can easily check it in your calculator so for example raise 2.506 to the power 2.506 as a result we will have we will have 10 so i i don't check it uh, i don't check it in terms of this one in terms of uh, in terms of this raising to the power 2.506 i just find this value value for you okay so if you want to check it you can easily raise this but i think that 99 percent that this is absolutely correct uh, absolutely correct solution because we are talking about basic thing this is basic lambert w function we are not like finding a hard ways for us this is basic lambert w function so I hope you I hope you understand my explanation. Right now we can easily see a graph to this question because a lot of students prefer I prefer a geometric perspective okay because a lot of students like to uh, want to see this point of intersection and in this in this part I hope you see this point of intersection which is which is also which is also really great. So let's write up a final answer to this question. So our answer our answer right here we have x equal to e to the power lambda w function of nature log nature log 10 and if you're talking about approximately answer x approximately equal to 2.5506 which is also really great really great and i hope you understand my explanation i hope you learn something new and i hope your answer is is the same as mine if you solve this question uh, with me this is also also really great really great thing right now a few words about this question this is a really interesting question uh, for applying lambda w function and in terms of mass we we need to find a really interesting tricks we need to solve a lot of question we don't don't need to know only like lambda w function as you can see right here we need to know about e we need to know about nature log properties so uh, we need to learn a lot in terms of mass and this question is a great to practice lambert w function nature log really interesting really interesting properties really interesting uh, like equation uh, like that yeah this is also also really great for everyone to practice to practice your math skill and you need to learn you need to learn a lot to know a lot about about, about math so thank you for your time i hope you understand my explanation i hope you learned something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of like more than 200 videos on my youtube channel so i really appreciate when you leave a response write any kind comment or or like leave a dislike i really appreciate your response if you don't like a video if you like a video it's really it's extremely important for me so thank you everyone for your support thank you everyone for your time see you in the next video and have a great day.